Hello and welcome to RJI Insight, where we put a spotlight on some of the programs, projects, and research here at the Reynolds Journalism Institute that help journalism get better, faster, and smarter. Our guest is John Clark, Senior Vice President, Emerging Technology at the National Association of Broadcasters. John is here to talk about ATSC3, also known as Next Gen Television. This new broadcasting standard will change the experience of the average television viewer. Your remote control will have more power and television stations will have the ability to deliver new types of content. Welcome, John. Thank you. Tell us uh, what, what is ATSC3 and, and why should we care about it? Fair enough. So ATSC3, for those of you who are writing it down at home, uh, you can actually write down Next Gen TV. That's generally what it's uh, referred to as. ATSC3 is the actual broadcast standard, uh, but you more often hear it referred to as Next Gen TV. Uh, and it's exactly that. It's the next generation of uh, broadcasting, uh, specifically the broadcast signals, the over-the-air signals. Um, currently, we're on ATSC 1.0 when we went from analog to digital or analog to you know four by three analog pictures to the beautiful 16 by 9 HD that was going to ATSC 1.0 we're in the middle right now of a transition to ATSC 3.0 uh, this new standard is built upon uh, IP backbone so it's all data uh, it's going to create uh, even more beautiful pictures uh, immersive sound uh, has other capabilities along with it of being mobile so uh, you know think about being in, in a mobile environment whether it be cars or taking it with you uh, it allows for interactive applications so different way to interact with and engage with TV and D TV programs um, just a completely different uh, TV viewing experience uh, so again that's why ATSC 3 is a more technical term next-gen TV that's what you need to be looking for all right, so it's 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 big big changes. So are there some examples of kind of uh of how it's working right now? Sure. Um and how it's working right now is it's in a in a rolling transition, as it were. Uh, it is not backwards compatible. Uh, so that means ATSC 1.0 is still available and that's where you're watching a lot of TV. So anything that's happening in the 3.0 world is very much um, new and innovative and we're trying things out. So what we have seen in some places uh, is a notion of, I'm gonna call it pop-up channels. So the idea of I am broadcasting my regular TV channel, well, something is happening. Maybe it's a weather event, maybe it's a, uh, uh, maybe it's a parade, maybe it's something happening in the community. I can stand up a pop-up channel and now I can just have the consumer change the channel one up and like oh now I'm on a whole different channel and you know how it's being delivered doesn't matter so the broadcast signal broadcast TV and I get my choice of different channels that's one way of, of how it's being used uh, another way that we've seen it of uses in interactive applications. The notion of I am watching my TV program, uh, maybe it's a newscast, um, I can enhance that and make it an interactive environment. So now I can in, in essence bring up a whole entire application on my TV and can interact with that uh, with that signal, with that news content, with that sporting event in any number of ways. Uh, the ways we've seen that done, whether that be actually uh, on the air in many cases, you know, ancillary applications, more local news, here's the VOD clips, um, here's the other information you want. We've seen uh, applications of it with sports where it's like, oh, wait a minute, I can, I, I'm a NASCAR fan, so I can choose which car I want to follow. So if the video is there, I can like, okay, here's the regular broadcast, but now I can follow along on this, you know, this driver all day long for the race. Um, we've seen it with Olympics. Uh, you want to know what's the schedule for Olympics that's coming up? Where is it going to be broadcast? With, with the click of a remote, you can get all that information that's there right on the screen right there with the program. So those are one of many uh, different examples of that interactive. Uh, and many later. yet to come. And many yet to come, as yes. As people think about all this. Absolutely. So Absolutely. What, is, what is kind of the next maybe big development uh, on the horizon? Sure. The biggest thing that everybody is really looking at right now is the continued transition or the rollout. Um, so there's always a, hey, when is it coming to my area? When when am I going to be able to get a 3 auto signal? Um, if I have a TV set, which by the way, if you go and buy a TV set now, you look for the logo, Next Gen TV. That's how you know it's, it's capable. Um, as of mid-October, uh, roughly 70% of the U.S. households now are, have the ability to receive a ATSC 3 signal. So the notion of what is the big development, it is the transition. It is in this period of the next uh, couple of years of actually rolling out. Uh, and because it's not backwards compatible, we're having to do that very uh, strategically because you don't want to turn off one signal uh, while obviously a lot of people are still watching it. At the same time, you do want to power up our 3.0 as, as quickly as we can. So that's the next big thing that we're watching. Um, New York is the most uh, most recent market that, uh, that came online, which is a big deal. I mean, it's the number one market. Um, so 
that's what you're going to see over the next next little bit. That's the big development: the continued rollout and the continued availability of more and more TV sets that are capable of receiving it. Great. So what is the NAB doing to try to kind of move things along? Sure. I, I think there are probably two, two areas that we're involved in that make a lot of sense. Uh, it pertains to, uh, to, to this program specifically. One, there's a Future of TV initiative, which is a, a, a project that uh, the FCC announced uh, in this year that we are incredibly uh, a huge part of. And that's really focused on what's the transition going to be. It's really moving things forward. It's a, it's a group of broadcasters. Um, it's a group of you know policymakers, broadcasters, computer and electronics folks, a lot of people that are, have a part of the ecosystem, and focus on you know three areas basically. Now, what is the backwards compatibility? How do we make sure that when we transition, you know, we, we're taking care of that no one's going to lose a signal, that everybody's going to still have access to all the to, to TV that they want. Uh, the second is the transition, managing the transition. Let's let's move forward. Let's make sure that that happens smoothly. And what does the post-transition world look like? How does that look? So that is a big area that the NAB is certainly involved in. Again from a huge, you know, industry-wide initiative. Um, I think if we come down and, you know, one of the reasons, one of the things that I'm involved in is the Next Gen TV, uh, the pilot Next Gen TV fellowship. And that is actually with some students here from, uh, from Mizzou. And it is really engaging in a next generation of consumers, but really a next generation of industry leaders to think about how might we use the technology. And so this is a program that's about three years old. Uh, we've run it with uh, some kids from Howard University for the past two years. We've expanded it this year to include a group from Mizzou. Uh, hopefully in the next couple years we'll expand again, but it really is working with the students here at Mizzou on a project of thinking about in the Missouri market, in a, in a market like this, how might we take advantage of what ATSC gets to offer? So it's a notion of looking at the technology, looking at the market, and figuring out what we might get operationalized to better serve our community. So uh, we started that uh, a couple of months ago and, and just working with kids at that level to actually build something uh, for the industry. Yeah, that's great. Well, well, we'll we'll have to see what they come up with. Come to NAB show. They will they will be demoing it uh, there at the show in April. So. Oh, great! Yes, All indeed. right. You can read more about the University of Missouri Students Project on our website rjionline.org. From the RJI Studio, I'm Randy Pick. Thanks for watching.